Hey, what's going on, people? I've had some things in my mind when it comes to uh, the fighting game community and like future fighting games on the new like PlayStation 4 and Xbox One systems. And I was thinking, like, besides like Killer Instinct, which I'll get to, they haven't really announced a whole lot about fighting games when it comes to the new systems. Of course, they announce stuff about shooters because shooters are every other game, and then there's your sports games and all that too. But uh. I, fighting games seem to be my favorite genre, and especially my favorite genre to make YouTube videos on. So I thought I'll just like touch on some of the stuff that I've known so far, and then like it's just interesting to try and find out what the state of the fighting game community is when it comes to next gen systems. And uh, first off is Killer Instinct, of course. That's the big one right now. That's a uh, Microsoft. It seems to be trying to use Killer Instinct as a platform seller for the Xbox One and because I think it's going to be on the Xbox One and the 360, but it's not going to be on uh, any Sony systems right now. So I'm hope I'm personally going to probably get a PS4 myself, just because of personal preferences. But um, so I'm I'm hoping Killer Instinct eventually will come to the PlayStation 4. But as of right now, it's the Xbox One, and I think it might be on 360 as well. But I know it's the Xbox One or Microsoft exclusive at least. But um, this game's looking real good. I've I've seen. A lot of good things from it and I've heard some people are kind of wary about certain parts of the game and I don't know but Killer Instinct is probably going to be a huge thing for the community and it's going to be a huge revival of the Killer Instinct series so that's going to be great I hope uh, I hope that is a successful game and maybe it'll be successful enough to go cross platform because I'd love to get my hands on it myself and it might be a great way to broaden the uh, audience for fighting games and I think that'll be awesome another one that uh, is coming out for next gen that was announced pretty recently is Injustice it's already been out for current gen systems like the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 but they announced they're gonna do like an ultimate edition I think that's what they were calling it but it's uh, I think it's gonna have all the DLC characters and skin packs and it's gonna be released for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, as well as current generation systems. I think one of them was left out. I think it might have been the PlayStation 3 is going to be left out of that. But I think it's going to be on like the 360, PC, and then the next gen systems. But oh, it's also not going to be on Wii U. It might be on P PS3, but it's not going to be on Wii U. I forget why. But that's Injustice is coming to next gen. So there's another next gen fighting game. That's going to have to be what's going to hold me over on the PlayStation 4, it seems like. Because right now, I, f I think Injustice is the only PlayStation 4 fighting game as of right now. And then, uh, even though the Wii U is being left out, I guess some people consider Super Smash Bros. a fighting game. I guess that would be the genre it falls under. It just doesn't seem the same to me. It's not like a 2D, like, one-on-one -on -one fighting game. It, it doesn't it doesn't feel like... It doesn't give me, like, the same fighting game feel as, like, ones with life bars and stuff like that, rather than percentages for damage and falling off the screen like Super Smash Bros. is. But anyway, uh, yeah, Injustice is coming to next gen, so that's pretty exciting. And I'll probably end up picking that up, because that game's pretty fun. Uh, also, Tekken Cross Street Fighter, recently uh, Harada, who was one of the guys at uh, Namco Bandai, I believe. Um, or just Namco, probably not Bandai. <laughs> but uh, Harada said that Tekken Cross Street Fighter is still in the works. And I think that's awesome, because the Tekken, Tekken's a fun game, man. I like the 3D fighting games, too. And uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, that's still something that I play every now and again because that game is still pretty fun. They came out with that new update earlier in the year, and Street Fighter Cross Tekken is still a great game. So Tekken Cross Street Fighter, that's going to be exciting. That's something that's long awaited, having Street Fighter characters in the Tekken universe and the Tekken 3D fighting game engine. So that's something I'm definitely looking forward to. Tekken Cross Street Fighter is still in the works. They're saying it's a long-term project. So. The only thing I can fathom would be, since it's a long-term project, it's probably going to be on the next-gen systems. Because I'm guessing the PS4 and Xbox One will be available before Tekken Cross Street Fighter gets any new like news about it, like any trailers or anything. So I, have a, I'm, I think the only reasonable solution when it comes to what system will Tekken Cross Street Fighter be on would be it's got to be on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One so that's when I'm thinking about that something that is kind of disappointing I'll end it with a sad note <laughs> I don't know why but the uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 that uh, 
it doesn't they're saying that it's not going to be on the next gen systems it's just going to be on uh i think pc and then 360 and ps3 so that kind of stinks ultra street fighter 4 not going to be on next gen that would have been nice to see but i guess there's technical difficulties when it comes to upgrading a game graphically and gameplay wise and fitting the new system requirements and all that stuff so i guess it's understandable they probably don't have the time or the money to do that so uh and also capcom it's rumored that they're gonna well it's not rumored but it seems like capcom's gonna have to come out with a street fighter 5 soon because i don't see ultimate i mean not ultimate street fighter but ultra street fighter 4 i don't see that giving them enough sales to bring them back because they were getting they're not doing so well capcom is not doing well monetary monetarily because they've had to lay off a bunch of workers recently so that kind of stinks so hopefully this means they're going to get desperate and have to release a street fighter 5 <laughs> for next gen systems because that would be definitely awesome and who knows i mean i don't see any way capcom could really revive themselves because they have these good franchises like resident evil mega man's going to be in super smash brothers so that's kind of cool but I don't know, Capcom's been some deep doo-doo, so hopefully they come out with a Street Fighter V to fix that. Um, also, there, I just have a theory that Mortal Kombat 10 is going to be in the works, because Mortal Kombat 9 came out, I don't know, was it last year or the year before? And when Mortal Kombat 9 came out, it was the same time as the Mortal Kombat Legacy miniseries was going on on Machinima. And right now is Season 2 of Mortal Kombat Legacy, and... It would make sense for that little mini series to pr promote uh, a new game, or for the game to promote the mini series, and they could promote each other. So I don't know. Mortal Kombat 10 is probably something that the guys at uh, NetherRealm want to make. So I wouldn't be surprised if Mortal Kombat 10 ends up coming out for new systems. They haven't released any info. It's just my own theory. It's not even a rumor yet, <laughs> but I have a feeling that Mortal Kombat 10 is going to be here eventually. So, that's something to look forward to. That's all I got. I'm just speculating and trying to scrounge up all the information about future fighting games. So, uh, if you guys have anything else, let me know. That would be cool to learn more. And thanks for watching. I hope you found this enjoyable. And I'll see you in my next video.